Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to Desserts for the Weekend. Today I wanted to share with you another snacky type dessert. So it's a burst to make. We're going to be only needing a Ziploc bag, scissors, two piping tips, a coupler, a piping bag, some grapes, I prefer the flavor of the green ones, a bit of peanut butter, a knife, and my spatula. And to make those things pretty, we're going to be using a plate and some doilies. I found my doilies at a local store, but you can search online. There are a lot of places where they sell this kind of thing. Okay, so first things first, since we're working with grapes, and if you try to stand them up, they're going to fall because they are rounded. So we're going to start by cutting in the top part and the bottom, so it can stand by itself. And we're going to be doing that in all of them. Quantity is optional, pretty much depends on how many you want to have that moment or how many you have in general. So these are the ones I have. Okay, so then I'm going to be taking my piping bag, my piping team number 21 and my coupler and I'm just going to do the whole thing. And then I'm going to be placing with the help of my spatula my peanut butter. So the first kind of idea or design is this pretty simple one. It's just by adding a swirl on top of your grape as if it was a regular cupcake. And that's pretty much it for the first one. I think they look super cute because they are so simple yet and they, they add kind of something interesting going on. For my second idea, I'm going to be putting some peanut butter inside my Ziploc bag. And then I'm going to be making a small hole with my scissors. And then I'm going to be grabbing my grapes holding them from the top and the bottom and I'm just going to pretty much add this I thought it was going to be like a you know polka dot pattern so my original idea was to add my you know dots as in a polka dot pattern I don't really know if it looks like it but that's the original idea and then on top I'm just going to pretty much add my swirl again and that's another idea a bit more funky And then because I realized it was pretty easy to just add some designs, kind of if it was um, cake pops at some points it reminds me of a cake pop because you can pretty much make a lot of designs. So I decided to go for this design. Doesn't really have a name, I just, you know, went and placed lines here and there. And then on the top I'm just going to add uh, the same swirl. So that's the other design. And then for the third kind of crazy design, I decided to try this pattern and this is like a kind of scroll design. I don't really know if this is what it looks like, but I just wanted to go ahead and try that. And adding at the end some, you know, kind of a, uh, dots here and there. And at the end, I just went ahead with my same swirl. And then this was kind of a fail because I ended up not liking it as much as I imagined to like it. I just um, used my Whittleton 2D and then I kind of made a flower on the top. But it ended looking kind of weird so I decided to just go ahead with my toothpick and kind of uh, smoothing the, the weird parts on the top. Again, I didn't really like it, I just preferred the other ones, but this is another way that you can dress up your grapes and if you like it, go ahead and try this one. And then I added a dot in the middle to make it look like a flower. And this is what those designs would look like together if you decide to go for those ideas. So thank you so much for watching. If you like them, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this video. And if you have never tried this combination before, I would really, really recommend you. It tastes really good. Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.